Welcome everybody to my YouTube setup uh, part one. Again, this whole setup cost well over probably $15,000. Today is just gonna be my setup and what I have in our office. I am not gonna go over my wife's setup yet because we're still building that up and still you know, acquiring items for her setup. Um, so now that she's not working anymore, I wanna go ahead and make her setup uh, just as great as mine. So we're still working on that. And then we're gonna have a YouTube setup in the living room. Um, um, we're still working on that as well. This is like the first, I guess, step in the journey. This is something that has been eight years, almost nine years in the making. Um, this is not something that I just sat down today and was like, I'm gonna purchase everything and get it all in. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and uh, I'll see you guys in part two. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the fish tank. Uh, today is gonna be a little, little setup video. Come on. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be going over my setup video. I'm using something a little bit different uh, than my normal sit down talking videos. I'm using the uh, Sony ZV-1 with, without the interchangeable lens. There is a EV-10, I think, that has the interchangeable lenses. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the camera. I'm using the shotgun mic um, from Movo, so hopefully the audio sounds good. I won't know until I have to edit this in post, but uh, we're trying a little bit something new, and shouts out to the wife for actually uh, sitting here and recording the video. With that being said, let's jump into the setup. First of all, let's go ahead and talk about the desk. Um, the desk is a Husky uh, actual workbench. Um, it, actually cost around $300 to get, but it's a 72 inch version. But I went with this because it actually has a T-bar underneath the desk that actually keeps it from sagging. Now, the other desk I had before this was actually like a $100 desk from Amazon and it worked fine and it was great. And I actually liked the color scheme and the options and stuff they had. But like I said, it started to sag because it only had a frame that went around the edges of the desk and had nothing to support the middle of the desk. But again, this is the Husky 72 inch uh, version. If you look over here, uh, you can see where my headphones are hanging right now. It actually has a manual hand crank um, that you can actually take this part off and then get a drill that has a hex bit that you can you know power drill if you want to but it can fully articulate all the way up and all the way down um, so I probably won't really use that function too too much I just wanted something sturdy now the desktop is an inch thick with actual wood and uh, the actual metal leggings underneath wood top you can stain it but it only comes in this color unfortunately but the base legs do have a white version or a black version i went ahead and got the white version my second pc isn't here yet but this first one i put into the the 5000 uh, rgb airflow case from corsair um, i'll probably put the specs of this pc on screen but i know it has like a 2060 and um, a ryzen in it and everything and it has obviously uh, AIO from Corsair as well. Again, all the specs should be on screen. Moving on, I guess, to the actual other parts of the setup. As you can see, I have a GoPro right here. It's the Hero 5. Um, this is where I use, this is the camera that I've been using. My brother sent it to me, um, but I have it hooked up through a $20 capture card you can get from Walmart. Um, I'll probably put that, all the links in the description to everything. Um, but what I, I use this for is pretty much my dancing streams or wherever I stand up, you know, and I dance or wherever or a top down for unboxing. Uh, recently, when I did the keycap set for my wife, it's currently attached or mounted to the desk from uh, Elgato's. Uh, there's two different ones you can get uh, that clamp to the desk, but it's like their pro arm or something like that. Um, and this one is the XL version, obviously, to get over the monitors. Uh, over here is the camera that you see on screen that I mostly use for my face cams and stuff like that. It is the Sony uh, A6100 uh, with a Sigma lens attached to it. This is the Sigma lens that I use. Um, it does come with a kit lens. The one I got, I got it refurbished for about $600 on Amazon. Um, so that, that's technically a steal, because again, cameras are hard to come by. But again, it has the Sigma lens. Sometimes I switch in and out depending on the shot that I want. Um, but this is my main B-roll camera as well because since it's refurbished, the audio jack unfortunately doesn't work. But I mean, I can use this camera now for the audio and everything like that when I do videos like this. And I could just have this for, uh, I guess, the B-roll. Now to do the B-roll, I use, I'm not gonna pull it out right now, but it's, this, it's literally this wide 
but this is the newer uh, camera glide system where it just lays flat and the camera can pan or look at a single object and pan across and get that nice b-roll i'll put an example up right now so y'all can see but uh it's fairly it's fairly uh forward on how to I pretty much use it or whatever like even a dummy like me can use it and uh, it comes pre-assembled that's another thing that I like you just have to use the right cable and then you know charge the battery for the actual remote control that comes with it highly highly recommended uh, there is a version that's under a hundred dollars I want to say it's under 50 but I'll have to fact check it but I wanted a, a bigger longer one and I'm probably am going to get the smaller version or whatever but that one is kind of pricey you know it depends on what kind of product reviews or what you're using it for you could probably get away with the one that's under 100 let's go ahead and move over to the key lights i've done a separate video on them before these are the godox uh i think was it the e45 uh esports lights where they're key lights they're like the elgato but the thing i like about these lights is i've talked about it in the video and i ran it about in the video uh, you get a physical switch so I can turn both of them off just by pressing and then I can turn both of them on just by pressing as well I can adjust the brightness from both of them straight out the box they're already synced so as long as I pop this off the back of one of them controls multiple lights um, but they also have a actual app that you can use on your phone to actually control them as well if you want to do that recently I actually got one for a friend because they were a hundred dollars normally these cost hundred and thirty five dollars I got both of these um, in a two pack or wherever and it came out to $118 so again links in the description if you want to use that I know a lot of people use the Elgato key lights and stuff like that in the different versions but again for the Elgato key light for something like this is $200 and again these go on sale regularly and like I said you can get one for $100 so it's pretty much a steal moving on to the other stuff as far as lighting goes I have two of these RGB lighting uh, baby won't might want to close your eyes but these are the, the flood lamps that I've talked about before, the uh, one for you or on for you. Um, but these are RGB lighting where to get that purple hue if you've ever seen my live streams to get that uh, vapor wave. Um, but again, these are remote controlled. Um, these are a very, very old version apparently from what I understand because I think the newer ones actually have an app and a remote control and I think more functions. They hook up straight to the, to the actual wall outlet and everything. Uh, right now I got them on tripods, very cheap tripods. Um, and I tend to use these tripods when I take this bad boy out to do, you know, B-roll shots and stuff like that. And I just hook it up because, again, uh, these, that's something I didn't mention. They actually plug into the wall outlet. They don't need to be plugged into your PC or anything like that, which I believe the Elgato lights, you have to have that. But, again, these are mobile. I can take them off the table clamps because they come with the table clamps. And I can just put them on a true tripod, you know, have lighting wherever I want. That's a... Uh, clamp for the monitor to make it vertical um, this monitor mount or wherever sometimes it's in sometimes it's not hence why this one is not on it I have to wait for this one to get back in stock because I know that this one works um, this one is from uh, Vizio or uh, Viso or something however you say that company that does a lot of uh, monitor mounting and stuff like that up top recently I just got this this is the LG um, 25 inch ultra wide monitor um, I'm gonna have to put the specs on, on screen for you guys to, so you can see it. 75 uh, hertz refresh rate. Uh, but yeah, it, it pretty much has all my programs up here, the Wave XLR program, then I have Discord, then I have Task Manager in the middle, then I usually have Spotify on this side and File Explorer to look at clips or anything like that, media files from the live streams or wherever I clip it and I can see it right here. That's why I like the ultra wide up top. Um, this monitor right here, it obviously is from Asus. Um, it is a 165 hertz refresh rate um, monitor. I'll put the specs again on screen. Um, behind it for the lighting, if you guys can tell, um, I have a purple, purple hue and a uh, cyan hue. Those are the Govi uh, flow bars. Um, they make a lot of great RGB IC uh, products and I've covered them in a separate video uh, as, long, uh, as well as all the RGB lighting in the office so if you want to look at that i'll put a link in the uh, description and uh, annotation in the side so you guys can see those videos um, moving on to over here this was actually a still and my wife can contest to this um, this is a 27 inch lg ultra wide monitor i usually use it from obs 
I have it for a stream deck and I have uh, the actual Elgato's uh, capture card or wherever because I have a 4K uh, capture card in the PC. Uh, so again, those throw three windows are on here and obviously I have it in portrait mode. A lot of people say don't use ultra wides in portrait mode or anything like that, but that's just how it is. But the still for this, I actually got this for $40 off of Facebook Marketplace. I ended up spending $60 at the guy's place because he was moving and he was just trying to get rid of stuff in a rush. So I got that. Um, moving on to the peripherals right here, as you can see, um, I've talked about this keyboard right here. I've done a separate video. This is a coral uh, themed keyboard from Amazon. It cost about between, I've seen it as low as like between 60 and 70, but at the time of me buying it, it was 80 bucks. Um, over here, obviously I got my vape stuff. It, it is what it is. And uh, I have the recharging battery station right here. I have a wireless charger that I just got for my phone to you know, plug it in to my phone. So now my phone can actually wireless charge. I have a dock for it right here so I can see everything while I'm streaming uh, right here. We have the PC Panel Pro for my audio interface. Instead of getting a Gold XLR, I have that in conjunction with the Wave XLR because I like the Wave Link software and on top of that, having the sub mixes and everything. So to control the volume and all that stuff, I have four sliders, you know, that control, you know, OBS, Discord, my music, uh, game sound and all that stuff. And then these knobs up here, are used for stuff that's not not necessarily for streaming. As far as to hear the audio, we have the Still Series, uh, I think Arctis 7, I believe. Again, something that was sent to me from my brother. As you can see, the, the all in black. Moving on over, we have the Logitech PowerPlay mouse pad that recharges my wireless uh, G502. Uh, this combo is great. I love it. Uh, they have this smooth, not um, actual um, like regular mouse pads, but this smooth one or wherever that allows the mouse to really glide across the, uh, the surface. And I just, I, I love it. So that's one reason why I know a lot of people get these and then they take this little separate mouse pad off and they put it under something like this, which allows the mouse to actually still charge and it shows a mouse pad. But me personally, I just like the texture of this, so I still use it. Right next to that, we have the 32 button uh, Stream Deck upgrade that I really just got recently, um, just because I use a lot of effects, I control a lot of things, and I don't like going to infinite uh, folders and stuff like that. I like to have a lot of the buttons right there and there. So under that, I got this mouse pad, this uh, Zenitsu mouse pad off of Amazon. It was like 20, 26 bucks or something like that. It was the most uh, different one, I guess you could say, uh, other than the typical Demon Slayer slash Zenitsu uh, mouse pads. Uh, let's talk about the mic and everything. Right now, this is the Shure uh, MV7, I believe, the XLR version of it, just the XLR version. If you get this mic, just know that it comes with the mic and just the yoke. It doesn't come with the XLR cable. On this mic or wherever for the mic arm, we're using the Elgato Low Profile Mic Boom Arm. I know a lot of people use the Rode uh, PSA uh, microphone boom arm and stuff. I just don't technically like the microphone arm in the shot. I don't like it. I think it looks unprofessional, even if you're streaming, to have a big, huge mic arm in your face, and then you have the microphone in your face as well. And when you have a you know decor around your living space or your even office space, it just to me it just looks unprofessional. So I would highly suggest just getting a low profile mic arm. I had to get this one from Best Buy and have it shipped to me for a little bit extra because on Elgato's website, I was looking at it for months and if every time I looked at it, it was always sold out. And I understand now why having it or wherever, why it's sold out because it's just convenient. I fold it away like this again when I'm not using it or just sitting in the office and then when I use it, it's easy as sliding it back out. Uh, with that being said, I got headache pills because uh, I, I'm a U.S. Army veteran, if you guys don't know, I have headaches, two bottles, always, just always. Let me talk about the chair. This is the uh, Delexi, De Dexi, I think that's what you call it or whatever, from Staples. Uh, I upgraded from a OPC uh, chair that I had for a long time. Um, it did well, but it, I needed a little bit more cushion and a little bit more, I would say, lumbar support. Somewhat not cheap. They're like, I think 200 something dollars, if I remember correctly. But these are actually uh, the probably the best office chair I've ever sit, sat in. And um, as far as for price and uh, 
I'm about six foot, so even at the max setting or wherever, it still gets the job done. I wish that the arms were a little bit more cushiony. That's the only thing I really, uh, I feel like that could have been uh, improved on um, because obviously my elbows sit on the chair, but I've had this one in particular for about what, two years now, babe? I think about two years. And I liked it so much that I actually, we're not gonna show it because she doesn't like her setup because we're, we're revamping and still gonna be doing stuff for that. But I actually got her one as well. Going underneath the desk now, I got some cable management and stuff like that. I had a problem, an issue, but uh, the only thing that's underneath the desk is getting my house shoes. Uh, I got this USB port for extra ports and stuff like that. If I need, need to, I have a heater because my legs and feet get cold, even with the shoes on sometimes or wherever. So I just got a heater. Uh, we've had that for years now, almost like probably a decade. And then over here, I have a foot massager or wherever that I just push to the side um, that also heats up and everything like that. Keep my feet warm and massage if I'm not streaming. Unfortunately, that thing is even loud, even with a dynamic microphone. That thing can get loud, so I don't really use it while I'm streaming. Uh, moving on to the wall over here on this side, though, um, I have a poster from when I was uh, in the United States U.S. Army Soldier Show. Um, that's me down there or whatever. If you guys don't know, the reason why this wall looks like this and this is not really on display is because I, I could move it up technically and everything, but this used to be my backdrop. Um, I have stuff behind this, uh, this uh, canvas right here, but this used to be my backdrop for a long time because I had the desk in front of me, so I would sit like this and have this wall but in order to open it up and be able to dance in here and everything I decided to put everything on the other wall and now I just have this big uh, Zenitsu thing that I found on uh, Amazon which is just a poster of him you know being being a badass pretty much because he's my favorite character out of Demon Slayer but um it just obviously covers the whole entire wall this one was pretty cheap the fabric is actually pretty cheap it's very thin um, but it gets the job done Underneath, obviously, I've done videos on this. This is the Govi uh, hexagon panels. These are probably the most expensive RGB lighting that I have in this space. Hoping that they have single pack add-ons or something like that in the future, but this is gonna be way out of people's budget. I had a little extra money to spend, so I, I bought it. This is $200 and there's only 10 of them, but you do get a lot of RGB effects. Um, these are one of the power cores that I was talking about, the outlets or wherever that are actually smart outlets. So when I tell you know my assistant to turn on the setup, uh, it turns all the RGB on. That's one of the plugs right there. It's a four-way plug. You can get at uh, Walmart for like $20, $25 or something like that. And you can hook it up to your phone or whatever. Um, then we got this speaker. I literally just got it in yesterday or uh, the day before. Um, I've gotten this speaker several times, but I, usually I use it to go out and dance. You can find it at Walmart. This was like 180 bucks. It has RGB lighting and everything, um, Bluetooth. It has a 50 hour battery life, which is what I really like about it. It can get really loud. Even if I just you know, like turn the dial just a little bit, it gets really loud. It has Bluetooth, aux cable, radio. Um, and again, like the newer things that they added again was the RGB. It comes with a mic so you can do karaoke. Um, it actually has wheels to where you can like travel with it. Um, over here, we have the shrine to G Fuel. As you can see, um, I've tried other products and stuff like that in the past. Uh, G Fuel, even the cans and stuff like that, it just gives me energy because you guys don't know, I have a vitamin D deficiency. So um, I need the energy, I need the G Fuel. Um, obviously we got a Zenitsu statue. It was pretty, actually relatively cheap uh, for the quality of the statue or whatever. Um, it was like 30 bucks, 40 bucks when I got it. Um, and it just came in like three, uh, four pieces. Uh, you got the stand, it's one piece. You got the legs, which is one piece. The sword, which is one piece. And then the top or whatever, which is one piece. Like it. Underneath, we got a collection box of Sugar Plum G Fuel, as you can see. It actually has a small shaker cup in there that I didn't know. So it was like a baby, tiny shaker cup. But again, probably never gonna open it and drink it or anything like that, because I feel like it's a collector box. I shouldn't damage it, shouldn't use it, you know, stuff like that. But it's just something cool. And I felt like it kind of matched the vapor weight thing. Underneath, I got like a, it's like a $10 turn style table, wherever. Um, it can hold up to, I think, like 10 pounds or something like that turning. And uh, it's fairly cheap. It's just good for product displays. I could just have it on and just spin. And then when I needed to rotate products or something like that for B-roll, then I just use that. This uh, mini fridge, 
This one is a little bit weird. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. A lot of people complained about this mini fridge, uh, but this one was like 200 and something bucks. A lot of people complained about when they got the fridge, there was damaged components, the cooling damaged or something like that. Like always damaged, always damaged. The, the door didn't close or it was missing the actual door hinge or something like that. Luckily mine came unscathed. So if you want to take a chance, I suggest doing something like that. But you can also go to like Home Depot and actually see the fridge itself and just load it up in a truck or a car and do that. I would suggest doing that than getting something like this shipped. If I ever got something like this again, I wouldn't I wouldn't get it de uh, delivered. Um, since it was on the cheaper end, rather than going to Home Depot, because theirs cost anywhere from like $360 up. So for something like this. So just keep that in mind. Again, this came from overseas, so it took me a while to get. I need to, I need to order some more G Fuel cans because that's mostly what I drink now. But got some G Fuel cans that sit at the top um, and then obviously soda on the next two rolls and then some water in there or whatever because I'm in here a lot and I actually use this thing a lot and this is a game changer. Having a mini fridge in your office, even if it's not this big, um, is a game changer. This is something that I'm most proud for uh, as far as in the whole entire setup and it's probably like the best thing in the setup thanks to my wife. She got this I believe for my birthday if I remember correctly, right babe? For my birthday um i'm not sure how much it costs or where she got it from but, amazon oh amazon but the, i'll try to get the link from her the quality of this actual like touching it and everything versus the quality of this one over here on this wall is completely different i'm scared it's gonna rip or something like that but this one this this is actual great quality i love this thing I didn't even expect to get it for my birthday or whatever. This was around the time where the Demon Slayer movie actually came out and she got it for me. I'm, I'm ecstatic. And I'm not saying that just because she's the camera person. I'm literally saying, because Demon Slayer is my favorite anime of all time. Um, ever since like the very first video, me and my wife watch it all the time. I would, suggest, I would think that that's one of her best like favorite anime and she don't even really like anime. Next to it, um, is the actual Govi uh, Lively Glide or Glide Livelies or something like that. I'm probably butchering the name, but um, they're just two light bars. The uh, reason why I got this one, because you'll probably see a lot of people actually have the ones that have a right corner, but I got these because th I wanted these in this specific like configuration and setup. These are actually three separate uh, light bars and they come with six in the box. I have a custom RGB for it or whatever to have the, the purple and the, and the scion to go through. Right here we have two $25, $26, wherever bookshelves from um, their, their mainstays from Walmart um, that display pretty much all everything that I've, I've used and everything. Um, the second most important thing in this office or wherever, mind you, is actually this cactus that my wife got me which so again was a surprise because I, I mentioned to her years ago that I was like oh you know a cactus would be cool and if I was leading towards a fake plant but this is actually a real plant it's been fine sitting in here I think she got it for Christmas if I remember correctly but it's been fine she got a custom made 3d uh, pot holder for it that's actually a squid and the squid is like waving and it's freaking awesome I, I love it I love it the RGB strips around these are, again, $10 RGB strips you can get from Walmart. I've covered those in the RGB section. I have two, uh, obviously, letter boxing or whatever that's RGB as well. I've covered that. Uh, we have this, uh, <laughs> she was looking for a squid thing, but it was an octopus thing. And now she's regretting getting this color or whatever. Because this is technically supposed to be a glow in the dark thing. And all it does is just flip you off. But I like it. Um, I have two different uh, awards over here from dancing or whatever, pretty much being in the military, getting rewards. Uh, we got third place out of, uh, I think, all the competitions or wherever that were happening throughout the United States on all the bases and stuff like that. And this is just like a, a award for participating in this. So we got two awards pretty much for it. As you can see, we got a whole bunch of Elgato products. Um, 
some of these have been moved over to my wife's setup, like the Wave 1, and then um, obviously the Gobi Glide and all the products and stuff that I use, and pretty much everything just kind of sits there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, how I'm gonna do more stuff because like storage space is running out. As you can see, it's somewhat bleeding over to her setup. Um, this keyboard I unboxed and actually uh, kind of talked about on stream. This is gonna be the next product review. Uh, once I get my other custom keycaps in, we're gonna be uh, reviewing this, but I've already kind of did uh, an unboxing on stream for her keyboard. Uh, I don't know if you wanna pan over to show what it what it looks like, but this is somewhat of a setup. Again, this is some uh, a progress. Um, I think that really pretty much covers everything. A lot of the stuff was actually on sale or it was very budget or like from Facebook Marketplace or refurbished or something like that from on Amazon. But again, you don't need to spend a whole bunch of money. For instance, the reason why I went with this work uh, with this workbench or whatever from Husky is because the IKEA um, desk hack or whatever that a lot of people use is around the same price at least for me since i don't have an ikea near me so i have to get that stuff shipped as far as the, the drawers go but the table would even if i got a countertop from home depot which is actually near me it comes out to the same price as this and again this actually goes up and down versus the ikea setup and then on top of that you get the sag you get the bowing in the middle so i think like honestly this is probably the the best solution for a desk or wherever that technically still could be considered a sit-stand desk. I would try to put a whole uh, setup uh, listing or wherever. Some of this stuff was bought on Amazon. Some of this stuff like the camera, like the camera I'm using right now was actually bought on b &H Photo. So, but everything that you can actually get on Amazon, I'll try to put like a setup uh, listing or wherever uh, in the description so you can go ahead and click on that and see what I use if you're interested in any of these products you can find cheaper versions like I said check your Facebook marketplace or like pawn shops and stuff I've seen a listing for uh, a Sony 60 uh, Sony a 600 in a pawn shop with the lens for $217. I'll try to put that screenshot that I have of it. Make sure if you're going to the pawn shops, if you're going to Facebook Marketplace or something like that, make sure you know you obviously find local listings. Don't do anything that ships to you because those nine times out of 10 are scams. And make sure you be safe if you're going to meet somebody, meet up in a public place, all the obvious things, look for the red flags and everything like that. So with that being said, hopefully you guys have a squid-tastic day. If you guys like this journey through the fish tank, then um, subscribe for more because we're gonna have more product reviews and obviously the setup might change, might add some stuff, might take away some stuff and I'll keep you guys posted and updated as far as my wife's setup that we're gonna be moving on to next. Might get her one of these. We'll just have to see because she's, she's very particular. <laughs> so we'll just have to see. With that being said, appreciate y'all's time. God bless you and yours. Take care and have a squid day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces, everybody.